What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online and today I want to talk about uh, what we can expect to see in the Crown Store in the month of July. The Crown kind of preview has been released and after last month's uh, Crown Crates and items and things like that, I was kind of disappointed to see the stuff this the, the com this coming month. But there is some still some pretty cool items I guess in my opinion. So some of these things you guys may be interested in. I have one quick question before we get into talking about what we can expect to see in the store uh, this month. Would you guys like to have like a home tour one day of my house? I own tons of houses in game. This is the one I would say is probably decorated the most from top to bottom. Mainly I went nuts with trees outside. I'm not sure if all of you have this home. I'm sure some of you do. But it's kind of just blank outside. So I went nuts with the outside, uh, honestly. But I'm kind of curious if you guys would like to see a, a tour of the house sometime. And I can even give you tours of the other homes I own too. A lot of them are not decorated from top to bottom like this one is. They're just kind of sparsely decorated, you know, just kind of smaller amounts of stuff. But I know a lot of people out there are interested in home, you know, home furnishings, just housing in general on all platforms. And you really don't ever see anybody on console, uh, like especially on PS4, really talk about their home items too much, really showcasing their homes. There has been a few, but not a lot. So leave me a comment with the, your thoughts on that. But let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first thing that we can expect to see, of course, will always be when it comes to the items in the stores. If you're an ES, uh, ESO Plus member, you will get that statue. The statue this time is going to be the uh, Nocturnal statue, which is a pretty cool looking statue. I just wish these statues that they gave you within uh, you know, the store for your ESO Plus deal was a little bit bigger. I wish some of these statues would be massive sometimes. Something you can put out, like I said, out in front of a house if you have a massive house. These little small statues, they are neat. They are neat to put inside and around tables, desks, that kind of thing. But I have tons of these scattered around my home throughout the several years that I have had ESO Plus. And I just wish sometimes these were a little bit bigger, just personally. The next thing they're going to have, of course, is the Mid-Year Mayhem Crown. Now, this will be available from July the 2nd to July the 8th. So if you're interested in these crowns, definitely check those out. Of course, that will be right around the uh, Mid-Year Mayhem ends on the 7th of July. So that's going to be kind of right around the time frame, you know, that is out. Also, they're going to give out some new, or not really new, but some crafting motifs. The Welkoner crafting motif, which a lot of you may be interested in, is a very sharp looking motif, in my opinion. Uh, it's one of those that has definitely has like the almost the wing look on the back. So that, that is a very nice motif if you've never been able to play the trial to get it, you know, to get the, the pages from. Uh, this is going to be an opportunity for a lot of you out there to get it if you have not had it in the past. Another thing they're going to be doing, of course, is the artifact kind of, you know, where they bring out something that's like, artifact that looks like a weapon or looks like whatever the case may be the outfit style this time it's going to be the skull of corruption which does look kind of neat in my opinion if you have not seen it and a lot of times these items for these like uh, artifact items are really cool looking some of them are kind of disappointing but of course as always this will be out from july the 10th to the 13th a short kind of time that is out but eso plus members will receive a discount on that item of course uh the arms pack this month will be uh, released from Ju uh, July the 29th to July uh, August the 26th at 10 a.m. Excuse me. Uh, the style page will set to drop on Ju July the 29th and run until August the 26th. And of course, this is going to be the pack from the Falkrath Hold Dungeon. We're going to have a few costumes. The star uh, star made uh, wolf the costume, which has been in the store quite a few times before. The queen uh, the queen's eye. Spy Master, which is also be another costume in the store. The crown crates for the month of July will be the Sigic Vault crates. Of course, the crates will return to the crown store on all platforms for a limited time during the Somerset celebration. Stay tuned for details about the event. They also went to talk went on to talk about, of course, the event ticket vendor coming back. Did not give any details just yet on that Somerset celebration. But that should be coming up pretty soon in game, so hopefully we'll have some cool things to do, like we do with a lot of the other events in game when it's for each new DLC zone that had been added in the game over the years. Uh, when it comes to furniture, there's going to be uh, a vampiric furnishing bundle, which I'm kind of interested to see. A lot of the vampiric furnishing items are very popular right now on all platforms. Some of them are very cool looking, so I'm kind of interested to see what will be added in in this bundle in game. That should be added into the store on July the 16th. We will get also the Elder Way music box, uh, which I'm a big fan. Of course, I, lo I do love housing stuff. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the music playing right now. I'll try to turn it up a little bit in the background. I have music boxes all over this house. One here at this entrance, one at the front door, and one inside of my house. 
I really like the music boxes in game. I think it adds something kind of unique to the homes. So anytime a music box comes out, I'm always interested in purchasing those. Uh, when it comes to mounts, the River Ram will be one of the options for the mounts. Also, uh, the Sigic Cinch, which is very cool looking, of course, that blue glow on on the top of that cinch. You know, that, that, that black looking tiger or black looking lion, however you want to describe it, with that just that blue Sigic glow on it is very neat in my opinion. And of course, there will be a couple hound, uh, a couple hounds as pets or a couple dogs just in general as pets. And I, that's just kind of you know a brief look at what we can expect to see from this month's, uh, the month of July's crown crates, what's going to be in the store, just all that kind of stuff. And all, of course, you know, throughout the time, we'll also have, you know, discounts on certain items in the store that always kind of goes on. But give me, uh, kind of give me some comments, kind of, kind of some thoughts, what you guys think. Are you disappointed in this month's kind of showcase compared to last month's? I still think last month's, really with the crown crates, was one of the best months they've had in the game in a long time. I think a lot of people bought the crown crates this last month just trying to get some of these cool apex mounts uh, unfortunately i did not get the radiant apex i did get two just regular apex mounts i had to buy like 50 boxes too so that got kind of uh kind of crazy there but hopefully you know if you you got what you wanted this month and didn't have to you know buy too many cases but that's just kind of how it goes you know if it's something you want to spend money on that's what it's there for if you don't you don't have to so that's why it's pretty fun in game to have those kind of options Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts on the July showcase for the Crown Store. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.